there are people who had more opportunities than us, but they were just they weren't studying hard enough. I had very little. There are times that I go to school and I don't even have pocket money. But I sit down to say the only resource I've got is my books. Now I've completed school. I've completed school with so many people. Coming to the UK, there were days that I have to sleep at work because there was Wi-Fi at work and I didn't have money to buy data. How many people will sleep at work for four days? not get access to their comfy bed just to be able to get access to internet to learn to be able to pass an exam ladies and gentlemen welcome to yet another exciting episode on your favorite podcast in the whole wide world today we have nana Kwesi again Bro, how have you been? Bro, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah? yeah? All good. All good. How's your wife and the kid? Please, I'm not married. Are they back? <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'm not married. Okay. okay. You're the only married man, right? Yeah. Yeah. My but wife. Now, my my wife. wife. My wife. Yeah, my wife. <laughs> yeah. Are they back? Please, I'm not married. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, Chrissy, before we carry on, if your bank account could sing a song, what song would your bank account sing? Unyame <laughs> obeko. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Shall we enter today's conversation? Yeah, yeah. sure, yeah. Cool. Today we are talking about luck. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, luck. And Cambridge University Dictionary or Cambridge Dictionary defines luck as a force, okay, that determines whether a person will be successful rather than their own efforts. Yes. Okay, that is what the dictionary defines as that. Now, I'm starting with you, Nana Kwesi. Mm-hmm. To what extent do you believe luck contributes to the success of a person? 99.9. 99.9. Francis, mm-hmm. to what extent do you believe luck contributes to a person's success? I think that luck plays a part in people's lives. Mm-hmm. People have luck sometimes. It can be good or bad. But then your overall success depends on your efforts. Yeah. I, would, I would say 50-50. 50 percent luck. Or no, I would actually go 30-70. 30 70. 30 percent luck, 70 percent your own efforts. All right. Why do you say 99? Not not only 99, 99.9. Cool. You understand? You know, sometimes sitting at the wrong place, sitting at the right place at the wrong time can land you in prison where your life will be shattered. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. So, what about that one? So, luck plays a whole... You see, sometimes moving out, even getting out of accident is, is luck. Ask yourself, why is everybody doing the same thing? Am I the only person doing the best to succeed? It's luck. And luck plays... You know, every... All, every so, let's say, you come into UK. Mm-hmm. You're not the only people who applied for even the visa. You are, I'm sure we are not the most intelligent boys mm-hmm. in school. Yeah. This one was very intelligent. Oh, but no, he, he, like no, yeah. Yeah, but not the most intelligent <laughs> person in school. <laughs> yeah. You understand? But maybe the person who was most intelligent is still there, still sovereign, hasn't still found its feet. Mm-hmm. But because of luck and favor, you are here. Okay. Yeah. So me for me, luck plays ninety nine point nine percent of your life. Your life life chances is based on your luck. Okay. Yeah. You. So <laughs> I'll answer this question, right, by this scenario. So, Stephen Hawkins mm-hmm. is, I'll say, one of the most awarded physicists. He's, like, contributed a lot to science and to human. Now, he was diagnosed with motor neuron disease, right? He was using a wheelchair, which was uh, made electronic. It got to a time, he wasn't even speaking. It was a computer that was talking for him. Mm-hmm. But the kind of contribution some inventions that came out when he was paralyzed when he couldn't speak were more than people who could speak that person there would have been someone in his circumstance who would say this is my misfortune i can't do anything and they'll stay like poor or unsuccessful for the rest of their life but he he thought now now i'm very i'm intelligent in a way i'm paralyzed i can't speak but then that gives me the opportunity. I don't have to do so much hard work. I can use that time for research. I wouldn't have to. Like people will favor me. And that opportunity 
I can use it to contribute a lot. And then he turned that misfortune of paralysis mm-hmm. to become his success, yeah. to become the fame, to become the contribution he made to the world. Yeah. All right. So he was unlucky, but he didn't he didn't relax there. He used that misfortune to become a fool for him to become the success he wants. So there was no luck in his life. There was no luck in his life mm-hmm. compared to so many people. Yeah. But he was able to make it in life. Yeah. Now, let, so, let me just chip in. Yeah. You know, sometimes misfortune are even lucky. There is that bit and yes, I'll, become, bit. I'll be yeah, coming to yeah. that in a bit. Now, so like you rightly said and like both of you have presented, I completely agree with the fact that there is luck for you say 99%. percent i am still sticking with my 37, um, yeah. 30, 70 because at the end of the day, no matter how quote unquote lucky you are, we are all born equal born. with the same opportunities, depending on the location you are in. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's it's a very it's a very, very vital factor mm-hmm. in this. Now, no matter the right measures you put in place, mm-hmm. no matter the things you do right, there are times where, like you rightly mentioned, misfortune can become Luck. a fortune. Yeah. Or fortune can become and a misfortune. misfortune. Mm-hmm. So how then would you explain this bit about where you can be so successful that now your lack quote unquote has now turned to a misfortune your luck turning into a misfortune or yeah. your misfortune turning into a luck so say you can decide to take both i want to use his example first okay do you know your who is your physician stephen hawking do you know for stephen hawking mm-hmm. maybe if he wasn't paralyzed nobody would have knew him he would have been a normal scientist who knows Maybe he got attention because he was paralyzed. No, he he didn't need attention. He made the inventions and that, that inventions was what brought him the success. In this world, if you become a person of value, yeah. people people will find you. You, you understand? See, if now, he hadn't put would, that effort in. You see, I would also argue, mm-hmm. and I would side with Nana Kwesi on this that one, one, that let's say we've had two people come, okay? Um, let's say two people have come. One is seated, seated in a wheelchair. The other person is standing, able man. They have both developed the same invention. I would favor the guy who is who, who is in a wheelchair and say, you, you are in a wheelchair, yeah. but you still manage to do this. And that, that you see, you can argue that it's not, but listen, I would say... Li- that, listen, see, that, that, is, that is one aspect, right? It is one aspect, if, and it definitely counts. Probably no. Do, do you know how many rejections he might have had? Do you know there are some people, because of their disability today, don't even get attention? Imagine that nobody knows he's a physicist. He's developed something very vital that is going to revolutionize, uh, revolutionize like our world. He goes there in the wheelchair. The security guy says, probably he started because he's, he's struggling. There's no one to help him. He goes there. There are people that discriminate a lot on disabled people. He might have faced that dis- uh, misfortune, but how did he turn it? He kept on persisting, you know. So, irrespective of how you but, argue it, but but you know, maybe if it wasn't because of that misfortune, he would have been doing another thing. He wouldn't be doing more research. No, because you know sometimes, so, so that, you know sometimes that, because that, of some misfortune, it keeps you, it keeps your services limited. So, so it makes you focus on something. So the focus, that is what I mean. The yeah. focus is like, not luck. Luck doesn't cause you to become focused. You no, become focused no, no, because we are you talk, want the to do misfortune it. is to help. The misfortune is the luck. You see, which is directing as, you as to we, focus. As we are talking about luck, luck, luck. Let's not forget there's good luck there's and bad there's luck. bad luck. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. The, do you know the thing is that <laughs> the thing is that this person, we are we are dealt with so many things that come our way. You agree that there's a point in time you've had misfortune. There's a point in time that you've had good luck. Yes. You can agree with me that two people can have misfortune. Yeah. It's raining. One person will say that, oh, this is a bad time for business because if it's, it's raining, how many people will come to buy something today? Mm. The other person will say, I, I listened to this from a podcast, yeah. and the other person will say that it's raining. Definitely, there will be so many people at home. There will be needing few beds, and then many shops will not open. So let me go open my shop so that the people who need those things will come and buy from me. Now, is that person who opened the shop and that person got a lot of money? successful because he was lucky or because he used his brain now would you then based on this analogy Mm -hmm. define luck as the 24 hours they both had and the same rain they both had yeah but one went beyond yes yes i'm I'm, I'm, I'm not negating the fact that luck there's luck 
because there are sometimes yeah, there are things happen in my life that, that you can't explain. Yes, really. but people have become very successful. Mm-hmm. There was I, I've forgotten this man's name, but he said he he had to become a millionaire twice, meaning that he became a millionaire once because of his actions. He lost all those millions, and then he had to go again. So he turning. There are some people who would have become millionaires once they lose everything. That is it. They are crushed forever. But he had to go again. He tried again and he became a millionaire. You wouldn't say that he was lucky for the no, second no, time. No, no, listen. You know, you know, even for you to become successful, you must be lucky. Sometimes. Not sometimes. See, from research, eh? From research, anybody who is successful tries to add success with luck. He links his success with his luck. No. Because listen, because he understands that. I wasn't the only person doing this. I wasn't the only person here. Mm-hmm. I wasn't the only person buying this. Yeah. So why me? No, 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 no. I is, disagree is with it? you. <laughs> In the highest regard, yeah, I disagree with you. Yeah, yeah. successful people yeah. think poor people are lazy, and poor people think successful people are lucky. The reason is that poor people, some poor people, right? just don't try enough and sometimes when they try they give up there are people who are successful yeah if you tell you the things they've gone through the things they've lost the things they had to sacrifice do you know most people stay in their comfort zones and expect to get miracles yeah or to become successful mm-hmm. no you are faced the the luck comes but how do you use it some people have uh, people win lotteries have you heard that a higher percentage of people who win lotteries end up becoming poor within the uh, five years after winning millions. Why? They didn't use their brains. They were lucky to an extent to have had that uh, lottery, but they didn't use it well. So, so me, they became me, unsuccessful. Let me, let me so it's their actions. No, let me ask you a so question. So would you have said the same thing if those who won the lottery becomes a millionaire? You'd be like, okay, they were lucky to win a, mil- a lottery. That's why they, they were lucky. So, so but that's then why a success. That that is why was their actions. I, I cited that that, that, um, that example that everyone has the luck. Like, yeah, everyone was born whether good luck when, or when bad. Your luck will come. You don't know exactly, but even when you are quote unquote waiting for your luck, you should put things in place to you prepare can't wait you for, for that. I I disagree. That, you that, can't that, wait no, for that's luck. what I'm saying. That whatever luck you are waiting for, whatever thing. Thing, uh, thing it is you are saying that okay this is my luck or whatever or whatever star you're waiting to shine no if if you don't prepare yourself put things in order make the right choices right decisions the quote unquote luck will come and you still won't be able to make the best out of it I was having this argument with um, Fifi that there are some people that in our first few episodes I said that there are some people no matter what they will still remain poor like because I've, I've I've had so and, and much so, and then I've seen so many people yeah. right who have tried I think they've tried a lot but they weren't successful but I sat down to say no what are they doing probably because after reading we are not exposed enough to uh, learn to, uh, about the stories of other people who have become yeah. successful other people those who are very successful I'm reading a book called The Alchemist right and it says that when you set a goal or when you want to achieve something in life, or when you are working towards your destiny. So first, having that goal, right? Having a target for yourself. The universe conspires to help you, right? Now, you are faced with omens, you are faced with luck. But how you turn that luck, how you're able to recognize that? This is luck. Sometimes you are passing, and then you you see something, you say that, this thing, let, let me brush it off. Or, oh, this thing, even if I apply, I won't get it. But the person who dares to do it will be successful. And you think that person is lucky. He's lucky because he dared, he wasn't scared of being rejected. And even if he was rejected, he was going to do it again, again, and again. For me, I still stand with, you can't be successful without luck. You, listen, you, you have you see, luck. No, see, luck is there. We are not but, disputing the but fact luck, that luck, luck doesn't, doesn't determine yeah. luck your overall uh, luck, luck, in the luck determ- See, luck determines 99% of your life. 99. How? Even, see, even where to even get, where to even get a job, where to even get, even, even selecting a wife. You have to be lucky. 
please, I'm coming. Even selecting a wife. There were so ma- there are so many virgins in Mary's era. So why Mary? She was lucky. I'm coming. Don't 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 cut me down. I'm coming. I know mm-hmm. where you're coming from. Come. So why Mary? That that is God's decision. No, you you so, can't. No, so, so no. So luck luck. No, you believe luck is from external forces. Yeah, we don't know who is behind those forces. Do do you think do you think Mary? No. Listen listen. Do you think everyone? Do you, do you think if everyone was in Ma- Mary's shoes, they would have been happy that I'm a virgin and I I'm giving birth to Jesus? There are people who care less. Yeah. There are people who actually care less that. It can be God Himself. I don't give a damn. And there are people who also wanted that thing. So then, so that, that and, and, <laughs> and, and and there are you, people you, you who probably would have been virgins, Listen, and, but are still not doing right. The fact that you are virgin doesn't Listen, mean so you are pleasing. See, see no. it is luck. Listen, it is not. It is Listen, their choices let, let, as let me, well. Mary was chosen. That's her luck, right? That's her luck. What if Mary had decided to abort it? Would it have been her own action? Because there was a point in time that Joseph nearly ended the yeah. relationship with Mary. So if Mary had said, no, I'm going to listen to the voice of God. It's her decision. It's her action. Yeah. That chose to keep that baby. And when Joseph had a dream, there are some people that have dreams that even disregard it. So you being able to recognize that this is an opportunity, this is my luck. What do you do about it? If you don't move, if Joseph hadn't moved, Christ would have been killed by Herod. When they were... Um, Cutting the heads of yeah. all the firstborn sons, right? So it's your action. How you you turn that lack or misfortune is dependent solely on you. The lack is there; it's just one percent or five percent. Oh, but how you turn it, it's your own. It's your own effort. Okay. You the, lack is, the lack is ninety nine percent. So yeah, what then is the one percent or zero point one percent as you for say me, in your case? Yeah, you need for me. Let's be every. You need to be. Everybody needs to be hardworking. Mm-hmm. You need to hardworking. But you can be very, very. See, you can be very, very. But you can work hard. You can work smart. You can work effortlessly. You, you can use all the technology. You can use all the AIs. You mu- you can be everything. You are, you become successful, and you wake up and the whole thing has crashed. It's no, crashed, you see, you but see, you can still come back. We we are not disputing that, and that can happen, and that happens. That happens. happens to a lot of people. Yes. But the thing is, if it's happened once, does that mean that is it for you? Yes. No, no, no. Now, no, unfortunately, there are some people who die, yeah. and that's it. They're that's gone. It. Yeah. There are parents who work so, so hard, hard. Pay, go through all the sweat for their children. There was quite recently, I think last year or so, there was a guy who completed medical school. Was done with graduation, coming back home, accident proof, done, died. Now the mother would consider that unlucky. Yeah. The mother would say that is a misfortune that's or whatever a, it is. Yeah, that's a misfortune. How then, people who have had these experiences, yeah. what advice, now this goes to all of us, but what advice would you then give to someone who believes they are stricken with bad luck? Oh, for you stricken with bad luck, it depends on yourself. Sometimes, it depends. I like no, it. End relax. it there. No, relax. It depends on relax. yourself. Let him make I his like submission. Let I him, like that let, one. Let, let the gentleman make his you, submission. You should have said, it depends on the luck. No, no, no. <laughs> listen, we have to, no so sometimes it depends on yourself. Yeah. You might not be at the right place. You might be at the wrong place. And whilst your luck is taken at the, at the other side. How do you know? No, no listen. Do you know sometimes? Do you know sometimes? <laughs> see... Everybody, everybody listening to me, you should know you need to have luck to succeed. So regardless of how you are struggling, you are doing this, you are working hard, you can you can be the most hardworking gentleman on earth. If you don't have that favor and that luck, you will never succeed. Trust me. So your advice to those who don't have this luck. Oh no, for luck, everybody has luck. Mm-hmm. But you have no see, for everybody has luck, yeah. but you have not noticed yours yet. So the person should wait for their time. Not wait, no no. I, I, I said notice doesn't mean that you are waiting. No, it might be there, but you have not noticed. So how they notice it? Yeah, that I was about yeah, to yeah, ask yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So, so now let me so let me let me get down. So then you haven't noticed it. Imagine you are all here doing the same thing. You, everybody's doing the same thing, and you still feel oh I'm not succeeding here. Sometimes you need to change your job. That is your action. Yeah. No no listen no listen no you need no you need to change your job. That is the action. But you can change the job and still fail. Yes. But, the, but I'm coming. But the okay. lack involved will make you succeed. So are you now saying that there are people who change their jobs and yeah. fail? 
there are people who change mini, their mini, job mini, and succeed. Mini. And those who change and succeed are, it, lucky. are lucky. Because that is where their luck is. Okay. <laughs> so I'm saying that. Yeah. If you feel that you've you've had a misfortune, right? Mm-hmm. Try to change the way you do things. Yeah. Right. So you are in a line of business. Mm-hmm. Things are not going well. Probably try a new business. Do a market survey. Try to upgrade yourself. Read books. Try to. You are not attending seminars. There, there, there are people. Because I was listening. There, there, there are people who are like us, and they are becoming very successful. I ask myself, what is it? Most of those people, the extent to which they can go for the things that they want in life, you and I won't do it. So, try to do something different. Try to educate yourself. Try to, like, put yourself, uh, associate yourself with good people. Try to, um, um, how, how would I say it? Like, if it's your country, leave your country, go somewhere else. Explore further. When you're hit with misfortune, don't let that keep you down. Try to motivate yourself uh-huh. and you'll be successful. So, now, I am now going to get a bit personal with the both yeah. of you. So, you were just saying that um, if if you're unlucky, try to, you know, get out of that situation, blah, blah, blah. Yes. And you made a reference to our counterparts or colleagues yeah. like us who are doing amazing. Yeah. You know, it's just recently I found out Mr. Beast is like 26. Yeah. But anyway, back to the conversation. Would you say he's lucky? Relax, relax, <laughs> relax. Would you say, mm-hmm. based on your, you, your own capabilities, the things you know you can do, would you say you are unlucky? to be born in a particular family or to be born in a particular country or to be born in a particular space or to have taken a particular course or whatever? Would you say that? Well, so growing up, I, I grew up in, I will say, a middle-income, lower than middle-income country, yeah. um, family, yeah. right? Now, my mom did everything she could because looking at other mothers, right, they weren't doing enough because the extent to which my mom could go and my dad could go to get us the basic things we wanted. There are people who had more opportunities than us, but they were just, they weren't studying hard enough. I had very little. There are times that I go to school and I don't even have pocket money. But I sit down to say, the only resource I've got is my books. Now, I've completed school. I've completed school with so many people. Coming to the UK, there were days that I have to sleep at work because there was Wi-Fi at work and I didn't have money to buy data. How many people will sleep at work for four days not get access to their comfy bed just to be able to get access to internet, to learn, to be able to pass an exam? So, still on there, would you then say that a perceived quote-unquote being born into a family that was not, you know, in terms of economic standard up there and all those. Was that a propelling factor for you to know that I wasn't born in a way that I probably would have loved or I'm not in an ideal situation that I want, so I need to work at that? Was that a propellant? My little brother, Mm -hmm. right? I tell him that the things that I knew when I was at his age, back in high school, Mm -hmm. he doesn't know it, though his level... So when I was in senior high school one the things that i knew he's in senior high school too and he still doesn't know it's because he's not learning enough he's more lazy than i am would you then say that is because in his mm. case now his big brother is outside the country his sister is now working mommy's business is now doing well would you then say that is the reason why you're probably seeing that trait would that be no. a contributing part? No. no that is just his decision yeah okay Nana yeah in your case as well, would you be able to cite some examples of where you've felt lucky or unlucky? Oh, for me, I feel my whole life is about luck. Okay. From giving birth. Because I've been lucky. I've been, me, for me, I've been lucky to the extent that when we were in high school, mm-hmm. when we were in high school, and every, like, I had, I had my teachers think, hey, I know Chrissy, this guy's two stone, one, two stone, one, I can't stand. And they thought I could. I would feel wasi. After wasi, my headmaster used my resource to advise the students that if God hasn't blessed you like how he has blessed Nanakosi, you will feel. Yeah. 
And this is luck. I don't joke with my luck. Like I feel there's luck. Mm-hmm. So for me, oh, giving even the life, even you, the family you were born into, it wasn't by chance. Mm-hmm. It, no, you should. It was. It, it was. It was true luck. It wasn't by chance. So, would you then say, irrespective of whether you were born lucky or quote unquote unlucky, or whether you you traffic you. Your geographical location puts you at a disadvantage. You have to fight your way out of it, depending on how you ascertain the situation you are in to become who you are. Yeah. That is your argument. Yeah. Okay. Now, Francis, back yeah. to you. Would you would you then say, now coming back and now that you've brought your brother in, we'll use him as a case study. Why would you then... I, because I think that if you are depending on the kind of influences you have as a result of wherever you grow up and all that, it kind of pushes you so to become a certain way. Yeah, yeah. If someone is born rich, sometimes they feel they are lucky. We have all the money and they are tempted not to work hard. If you're born from the kind of families some of us have grown in, you know that the only option you have right. is to read, to work hard and get out of the situation. Do you, know, do you know how many people don't come to that realization? The thing is, it's dependent on the individual. It's dependent on the individual. Absolutely. There are some people that, even with the little they have, they, they think that my mom can give me money to buy food. My, like, I've got my basic thing, so so that is it. Like, let, let me wait or let me just do the little I can. There are people who are satisfied with very few things. They want to be successful, but they don't want to try hard enough. It takes you the one daring. I was telling my sisters that, right? The rich people, sometimes the choices they make in life... So, a, a rich pe- a rich person would let's say um see an iPhone and still yeah. use an haven't you seen a rich person using an Android phone? Of course. Yes. But a poor person will use everything. They will save up the money they should have used for business. They'll go and buy a phone. Yeah. You don't expect to achieve the same level of success. People invest. People take risk. If you're not taking risk, um I'll use this guy as uh, uh, okay, I wouldn't even mention the person's name. People who are doing forex trading, they earn money, right? There are people who trade and they lose. Would you say it's like sometimes we attribute a lottery and all those things to luck? Like, but some people have to sit down. They take years to mm-hmm. invest time into learning, paying for mentorships. You don't expect to achieve the same level of success. Final words. Final question. Well, my final words is you need to know your luck. Yeah. And focus on it. Listen. How do you let, know your let, luck? I'm coming. Let How me end. You, you, see, you, see, you see, you always don't want me to end. I want you I'm... to end, but it's like, I'm, I'm, no. Yeah, yeah, How just, do you get it? How I'm do you get it? I'm trying to tell you, see. If no, I ma- knew my luck, bro, no, 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 I wouldn't see, be sitting here. Trust me, maybe, <laughs> see, maybe trust me, eh, you, you wouldn't have been so much lucky if you were in Ghana. So maybe, who says? No, I'm coming. I'm, oh, I'm No, listen. Oh. Mm-hmm. Be, because you are here, you'll be like, yeah, who says? No, but then maybe you wouldn't have been so, You maybe moving here is even luck. Even how you got your visa to this country is luck. Even with the kind of mindset that I want to travel. Do you know how many people have that mindset they want to travel? Do you know how many people have that same mindset? Do you know how many people are using the same method? Do you know how many people are using the same moves? And you are not being lucky because of luck. Do you know how many how many people who can afford the things we can't afford, but they can't go to the places we can go? Why? Some luck. See, sometimes you come. I'm coming. The luck factor I'm is there. No, listen, listen. I'm coming. You see, we we are not disputing the luck factor. Yeah. but it doesn't. You see, determine... a classic example is this whole people will never try student visa and all of those things. You know, even with our workers visa and all that, people apply, do all the right things, they still get bounced anyway. So we are not disputing that luck doesn't exist, but we are saying that majority of the time you need to by yourself. Make sure that you are working so hard, taking all the bold moves and making sure that whatever you envision yourself to become, you I'll, become. I'll give this, I'll, 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 I'll give this example and that'll be my last word. From what you said, from what you said, let me give you an example. You are not the only person who applied for your job. Exactly. You are not the most skillful person for your job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You might you might probably be the least favorite from your job. But why did you get your job? You did what something you, right. No, listen, someone might even do something. You see, we are not saying luck doesn't exist. Deny. See, move. See, listen. Let me tell you from today. Eh, from today on, was eh, move in the favor of direction of. Like, I'm moving towards something, 
and that's luck. Like you see that literally luck, eh? luck is kind of a mindset. Like when you put your mi- mind on something, the nature is built up in a way. The moment you put you build up your mind on something, it brings all the energies back to you. I believe. But if you don't work at it, you can have exactly. You know, do you know the conditioning people said, your mind to even Charlie, attract the Ebefa. universe is not hey, going do you, anywhere. Do you know the people? The, the, yes, it's, it's their mindset. Like oh no, no, sometimes people are saying I'll it. Be very successful. No, 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 no. People, I'll, are, I'll people are just it. saying it. No, trust me. You See, are saying like they're saying it, but it's their perception. <laughs> Let, me, I'm done. You, like coming, yeah. coming to the UK, yeah. right? If we had been in the UK, because like um, coming here, there are a few things I, I, I've put in place for myself. There are a few things you are doing for yourself mm-hmm. and all that. Even if we were in Ghana, probably there will be opportunities. It depends on what we were doing then. Mm-hmm. If we were just stuck to nursing, we wouldn't be successful like we want. Right, because nursing salary doesn't pay. There are people who are we know our colleagues who are nurses and they've started pharmacies and they are earning a lot, mm-hmm. even equal to what we are earning here. Why? The time we decided to travel or write the IELTS exam to come to the UK, Fifi, how many years did it take? It took two years before we finally put in actual work. Had it been that we we had done it earlier, where traveling was easier, we wouldn't have like. We would have been here earlier. We would have done a lot of things that we've got now. We would have earned two years' income. More than what we have now. So it was our own laziness. It was our own procrastination that made us delay. But don't you the, do, people who are, yeah. peop- the people who are here now, like the people who are still back home, who want to write the exam, want to come, and it's, it's nearly too late for them and it's become difficult. One, for most of them, they didn't open themselves to information. And some of them had it, but they disbelieved. Luck didn't have anything to play in that. You had the luck by knowing that there's something called this exam, but you disbelieved. And now you've seen people getting there. Those who dared to dream, those who dared to make a move, right, yeah, they are there. Yeah, if the, yeah, those people dream. have had lost or we came and it wasn't good, we would have seen we were unfortunate, hmm. right? Yeah. But we took action. We took action and that's what resulted. So the luck is there. There's a luck factor. But if you don't, you don't do it for yourself. That is saying that, fine, I've got the luck or there's a misfortune. Let me put this and this in place. Let me seek this information. Let me go here. Let me go there. You, you'll be broke. Yeah, you'll man. be unsuccessful in every other way you can imagine. In final words, no, information in the other people. But if nature and the energies doesn't follow you, it will be in vain. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining the discussion. Uh, we can go on and on and on, but at the end of the day, we have to end the episode. Yeah. Share your thoughts in there. Is it luck or you have to put in the work? Until we we'll catch you on the next episode, peace out.